welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here to give you answers to your questions and help you connect with loved ones on the other side. Okay, you guys, we are going to get started. I'm just going to do my normal, let's get into it, start of the show. First and foremost, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845 277 9131. Remember, if you have a question or you want to connect to a loved one, hit the one on the keyboard so that it lets me know um, that you have a, a question or a connection or whatever it is, if you just want to say hi. Okay, the next thing is um, if you are joining us live on YouTube, you can pop your questions right into the YouTube chat. I'm going to go back and forth between uh, questions on the phone and questions in the chat. And please, um, for the sake of today, I have an exact question. I know a lot of people just want a message from Spirit. Uh, please today, just if you want a message from Spirit, at least give me the area of life you want the message in. Uh, you can ask about life, love, career, finances. If you would like to connect with a loved one, a specific loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. And I will be happy to give you those messages. And I'm hearing it's time to get into the show. Please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you. Here we go with names. This could be your name, their name, or uh, a pet's name. If the name fits, own it, keep it, take it. So the first name I'm hearing is um, Lolly. La like, yeah, Lolly. The next name I'm hearing is Justine, the next name I'm hearing is Monica. The next name I'm hearing is impossible for me to pronounce, Sorosipa. I can't even try to spell that one. I'm not even seeing Sorosipa. Whether that's a name or a word or a thing, thing or place, whomever that is for, you are going to know it because I didn't even think I could say that word. Um, <clears throat> the next name is, um, I'm just hearing a location, Ecuador. So if that's for you, that's for you. This could mean anything. You're going to know if Ecuador is for you. And then I hear Ecuadorian. So if that's for you, please own it. Don't don't worry that it wasn't enough of a of a of a work, uh, message. Um, the next thing, a tabby, or yeah, tabby. The next thing or the next name is uh, man. They are just busting out with now anything goes. Apparently, Jerusalem. The next thing is. Um, Somebody is just saying, remember when, like, they would start the conversation, like, like a conversation with, remember when, and then it would go into we, blah, 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 remember when, remember that time. So whomever that is for, they, they have this like little crazy cool energy that I love. Okay, I'm going to go into songs now. And the song could be the answer to a question that you've been asking. The song could be um, a, a, a song your loved one liked, you liked, you listened to together, but it, it, it should mean something to you. And it will mean something to you as soon as I um, start to say it. The first, uh, the first, if it's if it's for you, the first song again is "Itsy Bitsy Spider." I'm just saying, the song comes through every once in a while for somebody. The next, <laughs> there's a lot of kids' songs today. Uh, that song, "Monkeys Jumping on the Bed," one fell off and bumped his head, and then that song, "Roll Over, Roll Over." So whoever that is for, please know it is coming through so strong for you okay next uh the next song is they they brought this song through what what was it a couple weeks ago guys tell me 
Ah, oh, it's raining men. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, that song is for someone. Um, and then this song, I have to say a bad word with it. I got 99 problems, but a bitch, but a biatch ain't one. And then the next is that that's a song, right? I feel like that's a song. I just I just feel like that is really a song. Okay, and then the next song is um I'm gonna need some whiskey glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh, this song is gonna to see me through. She's probably making out on the couch right now with someone new. <laughs> I I actually kind of really like that song too. I think that song it makes me laugh every time I hear it. It's like one of those like little giggles like a naughty giggle <laughs> anyway um white wedding by biddle biddly <laughs> billy idol <laughs> billy idol <laughs> white wedding so if you know you know okay <laughs> the <laughs> The next song, um, okay, so let me compose myself and get a little serious. The next song is, um, baby, take your time, do it right. Uh -uh. We can do it tonight. I don't know if those are the right words, but if you know that song, and even if I didn't sing the right words, you know that song, you know it, um, that song. And then I'm seeing that, oh, who is that? I need, I need to know who she is. I'm not gonna, she used to sing like in, in eighties, like, um, leg warmers and, um, those shiny tights and like a bodysuit with the thing around. That's a, I don't, that's not Blondie. Who is that? Well, if you know, you know, that's the next one. Um, blondish hair. And then I'm hearing that song, call me, call me anytime. I can't even try to pretend to sing that song because I can't, but call me. I think that's by Blondie also. But the other song, the other person is, um, uh, man, she has that big 80s hair, not curly, but like feathered, maybe that 70s. And then she, it's fluffy. And then she's wearing like the leg warmers in this song with little weights. Whoever that's for, that that's it. there's that for everybody right there. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Oh, and then I'm hearing one more song, and then that's it, you guys. I'm sorry, but you stick around. It's gonna be a good show. I'm telling, telling them. The next song is Oh Mama Oh. Mama. Ceciliano, oh, uh, uh, da, na, 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 <laughs> because I don't know the words. I'm just gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> so you guys, I got, I, I'm gonna give a little shout out. This, this beautiful little thing. Oh, that I just. Oh no, that wasn't part of it. That was something else. This beautiful bracelet is from Amy May. Amy May gave it to me the last time we had dinner together, and it was. Fantastic. And I always want to wear it on the show, but um, I always uh, take everything off in the shower and then just forget to put it back on until later in the day. But I think this is, I'm going to just, it's really pretty. It has so many beautiful um, different little stones on it. My big, my big claws in there with it. But anyway, that's, that's that. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to get started now. I'm going to go to the call log. And uh, when I say your area code, please let me know where you're calling from and uh, what um, your first name and where you're calling from. And then um, either your question or your connection. And one question per person, please, because there's so many people. The Yes, yes, Kate, it's Mambo Italiana. And yes, 
Yes, Kate. Kate, Olivia Newton-John. Let's get physical. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Olga got it too. Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> thank goodness for you guys because... Okay, so Anne, um, you can ask a specific question. I can't do a whole summer reading because that's just, that's a lot, That that's a lot. Okay, love, so just ask one specific question. I'm gonna go back up to, bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna go back up to where I think I left off, but I, I'm gonna start with caller. So a specific question about life, love, career, finances, and or a connection to a loved one upstairs, you know, the heavenly realm. Um, And then, um, and then, um, yes, we're going to start there. There's a, I do private readings and I am available. Um, oh, you guys, just real quick. I'm going to go, I'm going to go take questions right now. Um, this Wednesday show will not be at 7 PM because I will be, uh, flying at that time, but I'm going to do it at noon. And then next, next Monday is a fly day and I will not be able to do the show Monday. So I'm popping it to Tuesday at noon. Okay. Uh, if you're subscribed on whatever you're listening to, you will see the changes in the time. So please pay attention to that. I'm going to go to 415. 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. It's Jessica. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Thanks for taking my phone call. Absolutely, Jessica. How can um, I help you? Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, so my question is, um, so over the weekend, um, this guy that's kind of been floating around um, where I live, um, we started talking and he was just talking about how much he likes me. I guess he's been just like a secret admirer <laughs> before. Um, so I don't think there's actually like, I'm attracted to him, but I don't think there's like a romantic thing for me to pursue there, but it just brought in this like love energy. So I was wondering what you see as far as like with my love life. Cause now I'm like, oh, I really do want a partner. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't thinking about it before. I love that. Um, yeah. So, okay. So I'm just going to kind of tell you when I see someone coming in for you. So what I'm hearing right now is July and I hear July 5th and then I see the five and the eight on the calendar. So July 5th through the eighth, pay extra close attention to who's around you and what's going on. Those are really big days for somebody brand new coming in, absolutely brand new coming in. Um, the There is a little bit of, I don't, I'm just gonna say it how I'm hearing. The warning is the person might be, uh, so sometimes when we get who's coming in, we get the first person coming in or a person coming in that's kind of like, uh, you know what, skip. You know, like duck, duck, <laughs> finally goose. Um, this is a duck, this is a, this is a duck. <laughs> so if somebody comes in, I guess, I, I guess if somebody comes in around, is it the, yeah, if somebody comes around the July 4th weekend or right after the July 4th weekend, be careful. Um, it's really important that I give you this message, I guess, because this person could be um, kind of like a love bomber and have um, situations going on in other, like I got a lover in every town sort of thing going on is what I'm hearing. So other lovers. Um, so just kind of be very discerning and, but it's going to be very tempting because I feel this guy is a bit of a Rico Suave type of guy is what they're saying. You won't see it and you won't suspect it because this person might come off as so like innocent or naive or like whatever. So just around that weekend, be very careful or whomever you meet in the first half of July be very discerning. Now there is somebody coming in in August. That's a much better fit. 
this person is very genuine. This person has a very open, um, a very open, like, uh, uh, is very open and ready. I keep hearing a very open concept, I don't, and I'm not really sure what that means, but you will when the time comes. But in that August time, um, this person is going to be, uh, has the possibility of coming in and being a really good perspective partner in your life. And now here's the thing, and I'm, I'm going to say this. Sometimes the person coming into our life does not come off as um, like uh, saying the right thing, doing the right thing, being that Rico Suave, because they're not a player. It's the people that can say all the right things and easily let that flow that we have to, you know, sometimes go, hmm, that came out really easy for that person because they're kind of a bit more of a player. So I get August into September is the opportunity for this person to come in and really have an impact on your life in a good way. This person does have the potent potential to be a long-term loving relationship. Um, if you can get past that they're not your typical type. Okay, that's what I have for you, love. But be really- Okay, thank you. Um, and this guy, this, this guy that you're, um, cause you're talking about like a naive, Okay, here's what I'm going to say. If you have, um, there are a lot of people waiting in the call log. And I understand the want and the need to ask another question after I've answered. But to be fair to everybody waiting in the chat and to be fair to everybody waiting in the call log, um, when I answer your question, I can't do a follow-up question. I can't do a... Because, that, you know, if, if you have follow up questions, please, by all means, feel free to book a reading or call back in on Wednesday. I'm happy to do it, but it's one per call, one per thing. And I'm, I'm happy to help with that. I'm going to go to the but let's be fair to everybody else waiting. That's my thing. Let's be fair to everybody else waiting. And I understand, I completely get it. I, you know, I, I am the question person. And if I'm asking a question and somebody answers, I have five follow-up questions, but I wanna be fair to everybody else. Um, so if I miss your question in the chat, please don't be upset with me. Just repost it, just repost it. I will get to everybody in the order in which I feel like they have come in. But if I miss, miss your question, it is, in no way is that on purpose. It's just I'm managing everything by myself. I know it's hard to believe with how professional this show is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, okay. Hi. Uh, here we go. Hi, Tony. Is it possible to find out how I lost the ability to smell and taste till? Till this day, could it be caused by my diet pills I took many years ago? Thanks, Julie. Julie, um, are, are I'm I'm assuming this means I, are you still not able to smell smell and taste? Okay, so um, one of the things that I'm getting is whatever. Um, it, it's chemical. First, I'm just going to say it's, it's uh, chemical. And the second thing I'm going to say is take a break from phones, computers, internet, things, anything Wi-Fi, get out in nature, spend a lot of time in nature and do a bit of a cleaning of your vessel. I have to watch how I say that um, so I don't hit a keyword that the bots will ban my show. Um, do a cleanse of your vessel, your personal vessel, 
and get some of the uh, stuff out of it. Now, one of the things that we don't realize we're absorbing so much is all of the Wi-Fi things floating around. And I, I do know what they're called. I'm intentionally using um, words that will not get me flagged on any of the things. One of the things you can do is make sure nothing is in your room at night and then also um, order some copper, get some copper and put copper around, like around your bed where you sleep. That will start to help. You don't have to do a lot, just some. Um, so that is what I'm getting. But really, start, Julie, start to detox, um, start to cleanse. Uh, and you might want to start with the nodes, the, the lymphatic nodes is what I'm getting. Okay, Julie, I really, really, really hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for asking that question. I am going to go to 210. What's your name and where are you calling from? It's Pearl from Texas. Hey, Pearl, how can I help you today? So I'm curious about finances um, in the next three, six months. Okay. How can I improve them? How can you improve them? So Pearl, what I'm going to say to you is, um, I, the first thing I hear is working in a coal mine, <laughs> that really very old song that I don't even know the words to. That's the first thing I'm hearing. So giving the idea that you're, you're already working and you're just not able to like really push it ahead. One of the things I'm hearing, and I don't know what this means for you, um, or if you're even open to this pearl, but one of the things that I am uh, getting is, is it something she does? No, there's a part-time opportunity coming in for you. And I feel like this part-time opportunity is something that's going to be I the way I'm seeing it is it it's not like a work from home thing it's something where you're in an establishment but it's uh and you're you're working someplace else part-time, like one, maybe two days a week to bring in something extra, but you're working with people, like you're having a lot of fun doing it, whatever you're doing, you're having fun doing it. Uh, and you wouldn't think you would have, um, you wouldn't think that you would have enjoyed it. You would have thought, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, this is whatever. But I, I feel like that's the, that's what I'm seeing. Now we all have free will and choice, so we can choose to go and and do this or we can choose not to. The other thing I'm hearing um, obviously is to just for six months, six months, cut back to the bare bone necessities and see the difference. And the bare bone necessities, and I'm not saying you do any of these, this is just for example, for example, uh, no uh, no drive-throughs, even coffee, no coffee shops, no no eating out, no box food, no um, it, like extras that we can do without. Um, and watch how that is. But I do know in the summertime a lot of extra things come in, like weddings and yada yada yada. So. Just cut back where you can and allow that to be the, the first step. But I also do see, and I see you, and I know, I just see something coming in. And it's it's a potential because you have free will and you can choose this. It's a potential to work. And I'm just going to give a couple examples. It doesn't mean it's this. Like at a venue that does events 
like weddings or this or that where you're helping to prep and put things out or something along those lines. Um, but I see it being a lot of fun for you. I see this being like a once or twice a week thing that does help to bring in some extra, but I also see it being, uh, you enjoy it. You enjoy the, the people you, you, uh, you, you enjoy, um, what they're doing, all of it. You enjoy doing it. So Pearl, I hope this is helpful. It might not be what you were hoping for, but this is what I'm getting for you. It's actually what I've been looking for. I, I need fun money. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm going to, like, I, I always say this to people. And if I could remember drinks, I would probably be doing this just for the social aspect of it. But I have a friend and she's a, she's a bartender and um, she actually owns um, a bar. But it's something like even that, like if you can work someplace that even if you're not a bartender, but there's there servers there are servers there or at an event planning venue where they they have events there i just think those are really good places to work and things to do because if you anytime you're working for tips 9 times out of 10 as long as it's you know the tips come in and it's good to have that cash if you have the cat if they're tipping in cash but even if not just tips are always good and then the other thing is typically especially if it's an event venue everybody's having just such a good time such a good time um and it's it's a lot of fun and the the energy is just up and flowing so that's what i'm getting for you love please keep an eye out i feel like that could come in even this week and reach out go to um if if you're open to the bartending thing just if you know of places just stop in and and say hey look are you looking for someone if if not that then look up event planning or event venues and see if they're looking for people something like that but whatever this next thing is and however you're looking for it it's it's coming in possibly within a week definitely within this month and i feel like it's going to be very very good for you both ways okay love mm -hmm. yes and one validation for you the five little monkeys jumping on my bed with my mother and then me for my grandchildren oh. and my children. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love that. Thank you so, so much for the validation. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you for your insight. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to go to the next question on line. Uh, so Kate wants to know, um, hey, Tony, um, I would like to hear from a friend who recently passed named Greg. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting from Greg is it was a really long road. Um, just a very long road, uh, whatever that means, uh, whether it was the en entirety of the life or just whatever they went through near the end it was a very long road and but uh it's better like uh it got over the mountain it's better on the other side like like it was a really long road but i'm on the other side of it now um i hear the word depression so whether people were aware or not there was something to do with depression here i hear the word um I need a little bit more with that word. Um, there might have been some, uh, along, you know, depression can be considered a mental illness, but there might have been a few other things, like perhaps I'd, I'm not diagnosing in any way, but I'm I'm just hearing, just some some things possibly around that line, and I feel like there's the potential that this person uh, greg sorry um wore a mask so people didn't 
always see everything going on with him. Um, but a few people kind of had an idea or kind of knew this was the situation. Uh, uh, just I just keep hearing I'm in such a better place. I'm in such a better place. I'm in such a better place. It's such a better situation. Um, Kate, can you give me some, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Can you give me some confirmation on, and if, if you know, you might not know because not a lot of people um, knew this about Greg. Uh, he kept it pretty well masked or pretty well hidden. Um, So, okay, Kate, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you you understand this message. But the biggest thing is it's I'm on the other side of it. I'm on the other side of it. I hope that's helpful. Okay, I am going to go to the next caller. I think the next caller is five, four. I don't know if this is the next caller, everybody. 540, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi. Liz from West Virginia. Hey, Liz, how can I help you today? Elizabeth. Yes, I was just wondering if I am where I'm supposed to be or will there be um, a move in the future? Okay, Liz, give me a second just to tap into that and see. Um, okay, I do feel like, Liz, as I asked, now, whether you move or not is up to you, okay? I can just tell you what I'm getting. I do feel like there are some complications I, I'm just going to say it the way I hear it and then try to expound or expand on it. There are some complications to where you are. If you decide to relocate or move, it will, it, the environment or energy might be a bit better. Um, if you, if you, if you stay where you are, it will be like, um, a little complicated or a bit of a struggle or like these ups and downs like now what i just keep hearing now what yeah <laughs> now what yeah, see, I just... i'm struggling you know i i struggle every day where where i live yeah. every day I... and i feel i should go back to california i you know i'm getting if you relocate it will be such a better move for you so you guys i just last week i did this thing called astro cartography with this girl um and her thing is astrology for babes and it's based on our lines when we were born and where our sun jupiter mercury whatever lines where they are and it helps you to understand where you do better but i'm hearing it's not only it, it is the state you're living in, but the house, the, the, the literal land and or house, house yeah. is very yeah. not really bad, bad landlord, horrible landlord. Well, the, and, and because he's not a good landlord, the energy is not congruent, especially for you, because you're like a higher vibing person than your house. And it's very difficult to change the energy of this house because it's not yours and it's something in the land so it's just something like under the house that's bubbles up is what so get just if you can now it's not easy yeah. to move it's not inexpensive to move but if you can move if it, i would say go back to where you were and though that's an exact quote that I'm hearing, go back to where you came from. I don't know who's saying that, but go back to where you came from. See, I'm, I feel I'm like, confused about that because see, I was born here in West Virginia, but I was raised in California. Well, you so went like you went from California 
to West Virginia. So you just came from California. So if they're saying go back to where you came from, I'm going to assume okay. they're saying go back to California. And I do feel like here's what I'll say, sweetie. Okay. If you are at the very least get out of that house, but if you can go back, I, and then I hear the song, I'm going back to Cat to Cali, to Cali. And I'm trying to hear the rest of those words to yeah. that song, but that's the, when they give it to me in a verse, that's a confirmation, like start packing today. You know, if you, if you don't break a, a lease, if you don't have to, but if you can go, just go, because I feel like your energy is more congruent with that energy. And it doesn't mean go back to the exact same block you used to live yeah. on, but go back, go back and be, be, be in that energy because that's your energy. That's, that's where you, that's your vibe. Okay, love. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Absolutely. My pleasure. You have an amazing rest of the day. Okay. I will. Thank you. Thank you so much. You Thank are, you. You, you have no idea how much. Oh. So, so, so sorry. Okay. So you guys, sometimes when I think the conversation is over, I start pushing mute and then the person, and then they start talking and I realize it they're not i i apologize for muting you i absolutely my pleasure um i didn't i thank you so much for calling in and um please go and find a space that is good for you love okay okay hey heather how are you um Heather's having vertigo i've been having it so bad let's clear vertigo you guys for anyone everyone who yeah that's what it is take that for everyone listening and watching heather you should feel better in a, a few moments i hope i hope you do um i hope you do feel better if you don't post below so i can do a touch up on it okay um tony does my dad doug have any message for me in terms of my love life um <laughs> Yeah, I instantly hear the song, and I'm probably going to mess up these words. Keep it coming, love. Keep it coming, love. Don't stop it now. Don't stop it now. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a clearing and or healing for anything stopping or blocking love. You guys, I've done over the weekend uh, a, quite a few TikToks about love and life and so on and some some really good ones uh today's included so if you get the opportunity go there i have been uploading them to shorts on youtube but um if you want them right away go we're going to clear this and what i'm going to say to you is um i don't know uh isabella i'm hearing you have to move on you have to keep, like, keep it going, keep it moving. Um, but like, in a way, like you're moving forward, keep moving forward, keep going. Don't, don't look back. Don't turn back. Don't, um, I hope that makes sense, Isabella. I know kind of what they're, what, what, what your dad is saying, um, that don't, um, okay. this is this is nothing behind you is meant to be with you beside you or in front of you so whatever's behind you keep the keep the uh separation getting bigger and bigger isabella and keep going forward and don't don't try to um just just that is what i'm getting okay if if you have a that's what i'm getting for you i'm gonna leave that there um and i hope that that is really helpful for you 
and you understand what that means. I think I know what it means, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I think I know what it means, and then it's something completely different. So let's go to 405. 405, what's your name and where are you calling from? Is Larry already answered my question? I'm, I'm sorry? Hello? Hello? Are you there? I am. Are, uh, how can I help you, love? What's your name? This is Heather from Oklahoma City. Oh, Heather. Hey, how are you, love? I'm good. You just answered my question or my, yeah, what I was going to ask you to do. Okay, excellent. Well, <laughs> let's let's uh, keep that going. Yeah, it should be getting better. Um, and thank you, love. Thank you for calling in, sweetie. Okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You are welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'm going to go straight to 516. 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Kavita from New York. Hey, Kavita, how are you? I'm good. I and just got back from Greece. It was wonderful. Ah, oh, um, was, it, was it so much and, fun? Yeah, it was really nice. But I, I got sick, so I have a sinus infection. So oh. just trying to get over that. Um, but love life. Um, now that I'm back, I'm ready to meet Mr. Wright. Uh, any new updates? Yeah, um, Kavita, I'm sorry. Where do you live again? What area? Uh, new York, Long Island. Okay. The first thing that I'm hearing is I feel like you're not like your part, your potential partner is not necessarily your neighbor. So you might not meet this person in your specific area. I feel like you are going, mm -hmm. you have the potential. I have to say potential. And when I hear months, I always hope it's for this year, but it could be, I don't know when. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'm, you know, things can change. Timelines up there are very different than here. Kavita, this person is a stranger. Is he a stranger? Yes, he's a stranger. And he um, is not in your general vicinity, meaning out of your area in another, not in another country, in a, not in another state necessarily, but possibly, very, very possibly from another city. He may even be a transplant or go back and forth between your area and another state, like East Coast, West Coast thing. Um, and this person, huh, this person is someone who is ready for, they're ready to settle down, ready to have a long-term relationship. They're just, okay, that, okay. When I say this, I think some things are going to make sense to you. They're just coming out of something um, a little bit more long-term that they probably could have uh, pushed pulled a little too long, um, if that makes sense to you. Like, you know how when we're in a relationship and we go to the way to the bitter end of it, or like if we're with somebody and they 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 pass away, but it takes us a little bit of time to, to, to heal from it, something along those lines. I, I'm not gonna look into which one that it is. I am going to say there is, they're just coming out of something that was a little bit long term and it was very um, difficult in the end, very difficult in the end. And this person, uh, is she going to meet him in her air, air in the East Coast? You're going to meet them in the East Coast. You're going to meet them while you are while she is while you are traveling and you are going to meet them in a side state. <laughs> like maybe, <laughs> maybe a state either that is sideways, at least it's not upside down, or a state beside in a in a city beside yours or near yours or like something that borders your state. 
I'm not sure how that is meant, but I think they they come to your state, not necessarily maybe your city, but a neighboring, a city beside your city. Maybe that's what that means. Okay. So you're going to meet this person when mm -hmm. you are on like a day trip or a weekend trip, and you're going to meet them <clears throat> either through a friend or with a friend. Okay. I do feel like someone you know may be at the very least aware of this person. They may not know, know mm -hmm. this person, but they are aware of this person. One of the examples I like to give is you're out to lunch with someone or out with a friend and then somebody they know walks by and they're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in forever. This is my friend, you know, Kavita, Kavita, this is, you know, John, blah, blah, blah. And that mm -hmm. could be the initial, you know, something, but it doesn't have to be like that, okay? Uh, somebody could find okay. out that this person is newly single and say, you know what, my da da da, whatever it is. But I do feel like you do have this person coming in. I do feel like it could be through the summer, but there's a lot depending on time. I, what I'm hearing is time and space. Um, okay. So, but just here's what I'm going to say what's meant to be will always be get up get out have fun don't force things don't push things don't think oh it's going to be this spot so i'm going to go there just go and do the things you would naturally do don't say no just go and have fun and it's going to come together for you okay kavita okay great thank you so much you're so welcome okay. i hope you feel better soon love thank you you are welcome we will chat soon love Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to the next uh, question on um, on YouTube. And it is, I want to ask if the person in my mind is coming back for a romantic relationship. We are con currently no contact. Yes, but Ani, Ani, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Be careful because if they come back, that's that's what they're coming back for. Um, when you say romantic relationship, I'm, I'm hearing it all fun and then it's done. Like meaning um, it won't be, I, I'm trying to be delicate here. Uh, I think most people know already what I'm saying, but just to be a little bit more like um not to beat around not to be so i think if they come back it'll just be a sexual thing that's it it'll be sexual it it, it you know it might last a little bit but it will be like uh, let's get it on let's get it on and then um it will be another you know pew, pew. uh it will it will go no contact again um I think this person has difficulty with a couple of things. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of difficulty possibly with honesty and a little bit of, well, that's, that's, that's enough right there. Um, but definitely difficulty with um, making, making a choice. Now you can do with that information what you want. I feel like you know some of the situation going on behind the scenes. And I do feel like you're the person who has to stand up for you. Now, if you're okay with just having somebody come in and be there for, you know, have a, a sexual connection and then it ends again, okay, you're okay with that. You understand it. You're you know what's going on. If you're not, you have to be strong and say no. And I'm going to say this, you know, somebody can come back and say all the things and maybe in that moment, they mean it. Maybe, 
maybe in that moment, they mean the things they're saying, like, oh, my gosh, you know, I want this forever. You're the one, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sorry. And then there's all this passion and so on and so forth. But then we go back to being us. We go back to being, you know, you and them. And whoever those two people were landed you in the no contact. And that is what will happen again. So you have to make the choice. Do you want to, you know, just really not go through another cycle of this? Because even if a, a person comes in thinking they're really going to try to make it work this time, we're the beasts that we are. We're the animals that we are. And, um, I, you know, it, it it, it, it'll be what it was, is what I'm getting. Ani, I hope that helps. And let me tell you this. If you um, don't, if you decide, you know what, it's done. I'm moving on. I'm not going to torture myself. I'm not going to sit and think about this person. I'm going to just go out and have fun. And, you know, I don't even care if this person or somebody else comes back. What I'm getting is that somebody new has the potential to come in in August. Somebody brand new, somebody you've never met before, nobody you know knows them, this is a brand new person. And if you just can cut the cords and move on in August, you'll meet somebody who's, you know, the way I wanna say this, I said, we're, we're the beasts that we are. Lions and giraffes don't make good love partners. <laughs> One of them is always gonna, the lion's always gonna wanna conquer the giraffe. Um, so I feel like in August, if you're the giraffe, you're going to meet another giraffe. If you're a lion, you're going to meet another lion. Um, somebody who is a little more compatible with you and with what you want. And the, a big thing is, I, I just, I really need to say this too. We can fall in love with people and not be compatible with them. We could not share the same uh, beliefs about things. We could want two completely different things. You know, somebody can love you and still want their freedom. Somebody can love you and still want to go be with other people. It's when they care and they respect you and they want a future with you that they're willing to let all of that go for them and for you. They can't only let it go for you because eventually that will fade a little bit as we fall into normalcy, okay? And you want to be with somebody who has that end goal that you have, which is, if it's, you know, a monogamous relationship, find that, be with that person. If it's just to have fun, then find that and be that with that person, okay? Uh, that was, that was a bit, that was a bit much. Okay, I think, I think I have time. We're going to go to 814. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, this is Amy from Pennsylvania. And my question is, well, my cousin Michael has been passed away since May of 2007. And there's being accusations made against him. Are they true? Uh, uh, give me a, a second, Amy. Hey, your name is Amy, right? Yes. Okay. Th I'm so sorry. I was listening to the question and I got really into the question and then I, I lost track of your name and I apologize for that. You know, when I try to tap into this, I get this really woozy, like, I just completely forget everything going. It's it's like a warp. I can't even describe this. I'm trying to tap into this energy and this energy is like camouflaging everything as like to not let the truth out, to not let it be seen. It's very much as soon as I tap into it, it's like being in a state of, um, well, I can't compare it to drugs because I've, I've never, I've, I've, I smoked pot once and threw it for days, so I never did drugs after that. Um, 
it, it's like being in this state of I I just have to get out of it because it's like 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 they're hiding something in so I'm just going to go to something else and ask in a different way Amy so please please forgive me I can't go that way I just have to go this way is is what they're saying about it true Okay, this is the, like perhaps one of the most difficult answers I've ever had to try to get because somebody's really hiding or, or trying to manipulate, manipulate something here. I get yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Someone behind me is screaming no, but I can't even go with that. So what I'm going to say is this. Some of it, uh, and then I hear, believe what you want. And we all know what that means when it comes from a guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is not, is, this is not a light subject. I feel like it, it, it really is, I'm hearing it's more complicated than you know. So I feel like at least part of it's true based on some of the things because if something's not true i'm going to be able to see and not get that woozy thing i feel like somebody's trying to hide the truth no matter what the truth is i'm going to ask you this does this have a either drugs and or sexual nature to it yes the second one Okay, then here's what I'm going to say. Um, and I'm going to try to be delicate with this. I'm going to try to be really delicate. Um, I feel like it probably has more validity to it than people would want to believe. And that if the if the person was not using that maybe they if they had been medicated some of the stuff would not had come to fruition but i do feel like at least in part what's being said is very very true um so i'm i i don't I feel like that might not be what you want to hear, but the truth is always the best way for us to go. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so, so welcome. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you, love. You know, sometimes um, if somebody's on the other side and they don't want me to get a message, they can they can do what they just did. And when that happens, uh, that's usually a sign for me that they're hiding the truth. And yes, people on the other side can try to hide the truth still, especially if they haven't done a full, 90 seconds. A full transition and acknowledged it for what it is. Okay, you guys, remember Wednesday's show is going to be at noon central time and then next monday um there will be no show because i will be traveling but i will do that show on tuesday okay i love you guys so stinking stinking much i hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and i will see you all on wednesday if you didn't get through today please come back wednesday i will be um so happy to answer your questions and um, help you in every way I possibly can.